join us. It'll be a thousand people. All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, Troy Allen Galat here from Trigger Time TV. <clears throat> we are currently in Dallas, Texas, at the Texas Gun Experience. Hey, Jim, this is a pretty cool facility. It's an isn't awesome it? facility. Absolutely. Man, if you guys are ever in Dallas, Texas, and you're in the gun business, stop by this facility. I've told somebody this is like Disney Disney World for gun guys, right? <laughs> Probably doesn't stink to work here, does it? It does not. <laughs> <laughs> So, guys, the, the writer's event that we're currently attending is put on by Blue August Marketing. Um, great marketing company. We've dealt with them for a very, very, very long time. We have a great relationship with them. And what they do is they bring, on, they bring together media people and manufacturers. And from time to time, we find uh, products which are just cool. And one of those uh, is uh, Jim... Jim, say hello to all the audience out there. How y'all doing? So Jim is uh, from this area. Are you originally from Texas? I am from Michigan originally. Oh, okay, Been okay. Been down here about 20 years now. Okay, very cool. So he uh, uh, owns a company that has come up with an awesome solution to cleaning firearms. And something where you just scratch your head and go, damn, why didn't I think about that? You know, I guess you get that all we the time. All the time. Yeah. Well, Jim, tell us a little bit about your company. Then we're going to take a second and we're going to um, take a look at your product and get a brief explanation of how everything works. Okay. So uh, the company is called Barrel Buddy, and the product's called Barrel Buddy. And uh, what we what we've done is tried to uh, come up with a replacement for the the ancient cleaning patch. The so good old patch. Everybody hates the patch. But everybody <laughs> uses the patch. So, it's uh, like a necessary evil, isn't it? Well, not anymore. Not anymore. It's still evil, but it's no longer necessary. <laughs> so uh, we, we say pitch the patch, all right? Clean your gun without the grunge, and uh, what Barrel Buddy gives you is, is a common sense solution. So for, you know, since the Civil War, we're sticking a two-dimensional square into a cylinder. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Right. So what we've designed is a cylinder to push through a cylinder. And you're going to push it through with your rod and your jag like you normally would a patch. Sure. But I'm going to show you what it looks like and why it's better. Okay, so let's take a look at some of your packaging. So while you're explaining the product, uh, show, us, show us a little bit about it. Sure. So, so basically the product comes in seven different sizes that covers everything from a 22, you know, 223 right. platform all the way to uh, your 12-gauge shotgun. We put right. it does a ten gauge too, but I don't know if anybody's using those too much anymore. So we've got uh, uh, the, the hunting rifle sort of fall in this. We've got all the different. The labels are different colors, so okay. you can easily remember what you buy. Right. You know, you get your nine millimeter. You know, more of the pistols here, forty fives. We got black powder in here. Right. And then your shotguns, but it covers uh, everything from a, a twenty two caliber all the way to the. Awesome, awesome. So, so let's see one of the pieces of product. So this would be the, the 12 gauge, okay? So uh, what we have here... And they, I hope that they can see the, the difference in textures of the product. Right. So, uh, so let me show you. The, so this is a, a for, for a 45. And what we have here is two different kinds of polymers that are heat welded together. Right. So they will not separate um, under any kind of chemicals or solvents or anything. Right. And that's been tested. And what happens here is this, this rougher side, you push that through first. When you put solvent or oil on this, it doesn't drip. Right. So when you push it into the into the bore, it doesn't squeegee out, mm -hmm. you know, like a patch will. And then when it comes out the other end, it doesn't splatter all over the place like patches do. It okay. holds, holds the chemicals really solid. Awesome. And this, this picks up the larger particulate, and when it goes through, it compresses right. into the bore. So because of that compression, you're cleaning in the right way. Is it, is it accurate to say that it almost has a squeegee type effect? It does. Okay. Yeah, but it also is picking stuff up. So it's right. not just squeegeeing it out, pushing it out. Right. But it's actually able to absorb. So do you use the same uh, product over and over again, or is it a one-use so, situation? You know, we, we do have people that will push it through multiple times. I, I'm probably guilty of that. I'm guilty of that. I've done it too. Is it, you know, if it's not real dirty, yet. sure, but sure. The first few you put through, you know, especially if you have some solvent on this thing, they're going to come out really well. 
Right, 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 right. And they're cleaning, they're cleaning out stuff that you've left with patches. Right, so I, I got to tell this story, uh, Jim, and I'll, I'll do, maybe I'll do a little uh, Facebook page uh, or a Facebook video on it. I've got a couple 12-gauge shotguns that I just got for my dad. All right, and uh, my dad's 78 years old. He's starting to hunt less and less, but loves getting out in the woods and what have you. And my dad is not notorious for doing a lot of heavy duty cleaning. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of your 12 gauge products and push through a shotgun that probably hasn't had a, any sort of cleaning for 20 or 30 years. No, you might want to run a brush to loosen that up first. Okay, right. okay, okay. Yeah, so, so, so we don't replace everything. Okay. Mainly right. patches, um, but the thing about this too, you know, if you're using a bore rope or something like right, that, right, right. Um, when you use a bore rope, you're pulling the same garbage through your barrel. Sure, right? sure. Right. Um, and then, because this is disposable and it's white, you can see what's going. on. Do you always recommend going from breech to muzzle? When you can. Okay. Right. Yeah. I can't always do that. Unfortunately. Well, sometimes, you know, unlike some hunting rifles, you can't. Uh, right. That's why, you know, there are those cable systems. Sure, sure. But the thing about using these, because they don't splatter and make a mess, if you have to go muzzle the breech, right. what I do is I flip the gun upside down. Okay. So when it comes out, it will drop down. Okay. But it, when, it, when, it, when it emerges, it's right. not going to splatter junk all over the place. Okay. So it's really not that big of an issue. So, Jim, let's do this. Tell everybody who you are and where they can get some more information on your product. So you can go to BarrelBuddy.com and uh, you can buy there um, and get all there's product uh, info and videos to show you how to use the product. And Tell us also a little bit about the uh, the 22 uh, project that you guys are involved with. Yes, we're also um, raising money for 22 Kill, which is an organization that helps veterans, families, uh, veterans who commit suicide, because approximately every 22 minutes, a vet will commit suicide. And so we know a lot of military people, uh, people are involved with the organization, and so we're giving $5 for every order you place to 22 Kill. That's awesome. That's a, that's a great, that is a great organization. I've had several friends of mine that have done the push-up challenge. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, Rudy back there is currently like on day 13 of the, uh, of the push-up challenge yeah. from Tacticam. Yeah. So um, I think that's great what you guys are doing. The product looks outstanding. I'm very impressed with it. And man, I'm just uh, excited to give it a shot and give it some, uh, you know, break, break in some of my rifles and, and shotguns that have probably received some neglect over the years. One other thing I want to mention. Okay. This doesn't leave any kind of lint or right. fibers behind. Yes. A lot of the other products, that's what you get. Right. Yeah, I, we had a competitive shooter, a military competitive shooter, that got DQ'd because of a th thread from a patch. Wow. He interviewed me at USCCA a few years ago, and he told that story. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, thanks for coming on and talking to us about it. Thanks, sir. All right. Take care. Um, Barrel Buddy, check them out, guys.